Hello, for someone who don't know me, I am Dr. Tahir Yaqub. I have PhD in Robotics from the University of New South Wales. I will be your instructor in this course on Control System Engineering. Control System Engineering is one of the core subjects in many engineering disciplines, such as Electrical Engineering, Mechatronics, Mechanical Engineering and Telecommunication Engineering. This course is designed for students of these disciplines or for someone who wants to pursue their career in one of these fields. So before we talk about what I'm going to cover in this course, I would like to say a few words about the prerequisites. The prerequisites mentioned in this course are not just for the sake of mentioning. This is very important that you must have some idea about these topics. Because control system engineering is a broad field, it takes concept from mathematics and other branches of science. So there are four or five uh, core concepts which you must understand, at least you know these topics before you enroll in my course. Although I would be explaining each and everything when I proceed uh, with this course, but it's good idea to have some time on these topics because all of these topics, they deserve at least one hour of training other than this course. So therefore, this is one of the things. The second thing I would like to highlight is that uh, what you can expect in this course, what is the delivery method. So most of the course delivery would be based on the presentation. I have uh, subject presentations which I will be showing you on the screen, not like talking head, but on the screen. So it's a quick way to uh, explain and more, uh, to give you the more information in the shortest time. So I will be explaining those concepts and then I will be step by step if need to drive something or to solve a problem. And the second method I will use is the whiteboard lectures. I take some whiteboard lectures because whiteboard lecture is a little bit of engaging. And the third method I use is a Khan Academy style method where I solve some problem on the screen uh, like some numerical problems or some uh, other concept where I have to quickly show you something. So I can use that method. So these are the different uh, methods which I will be using while delivering this course. So let's see what are the prerequisites and what topics I'm going to cover in this course. So now let us talk about uh, what are the course prerequisites and what is the outline of the course. So these are the five topics which I think that you should know a little bit about before taking this course. Differential equations and their solutions. Then partial fractions. Partial fraction is a topic which we all normally cover in our high school. So I am confident that you already know uh, partial fractions. Otherwise it's a very easy topic. You can quickly grasp this within maybe two or three hours. Knowledge of the Laplace transform. Laplace transform is an essential uh, part of the control system theory and without the understanding of Laplace transform you might not be able to understand concepts in control systems. So if you never heard about Laplace transform I would highly recommend that take few lectures on this uh, and then you enroll in our course. I will be explaining most of the time uh, when I do some Laplace transform uh, during this course and uh, mostly we use tables you don't have to learn each and every trick of uh, going from uh, time domain to lep uh, s domain and vice versa but because mostly we are using tables but still you need some knowledge of laplace transform the next is the solution of algebraic equations we all know this if you have reached this course website then you must already know algebraic equations how to solve them because this is an essential part of our high school curriculum then a kirchhoff's law of circuit analysis very simple you can probably learn this within uh, 15 minutes all of us mostly learn kirchhoff's law during our high school in physics so uh, these are the five uh, very essential uh, topics which i think that you should have some understanding I will try my best to explain this during the course, but you must have some understanding before. Now, these are the course contents. We will be modeling some electrical and mechanical systems, spring, dampers, resistors, capacitors, because all uh, control systems essentially uh, boils down to these basic components. So we will start from there. Then we will discuss open loop and closed loop systems, including the feedback uh, control systems 
block diagrams are an essential part of the classical control theory and uh, i will devote one lecture uh, about block diagrams and how to reduce the block diagrams some of these terms uh, uh, might look very complex to you uh, and it obviously because uh, if you have no control background um, but it's a good practice to show the course outline in the first lecture so that students potential students uh, should know what they can expect in this course otherwise uh, sometime uh, the name of the course course is misleading or you are expecting something else so therefore i am highlighting all these in, in this introductory lecture then we will uh, do the time response the most important uh, topic of the control system theory time response of the first order system and time response of the second order system and uh, the reason we are not discussing the higher order system is because most of the cases are either first order or second order and even the higher order control systems can be transformed to second order system or a first order system then we will discuss the stability of the control system any control system should be able to uh, cope for the disturbances and stay stable so this is what uh, the stability concept is and then we will use the most important root locus method uh, and then the root harvest criteria to check the stability of the systems then we will move from time domain to frequency domain and we will do frequency domain analysis then we will discuss some body plots uh, nyquist criteria gain and phase margin of control systems nicolas charts state space method is the modern uh, uh, the way of doing the control system analysis because this is easily implementable on uh, computers so we will discuss state space how to move from differential equation to state space method and vice versa and how to make uh, state equations how to select state variables and all these type of things then we will be doing signal flow graphs and then the compensation techniques controller design how to design a controller so these are some of the application areas of control system space rovers where you send robots to any planet in space and then control those robots from ground station or space stations missile guidance system robotic system such as unmanned aerial vehicles uh, like uh, drones personal drones are becoming very popular now then unmanned ground vehicles normally used for military purpose or uh, some other applications as well industrial process control is the major application where you will be controlling might be some wall control some pressure humidity temperature control valves so this is a major application and most of the control engineers uh, will get job in this area hopefully then manufacturing process cnc machines computerized numeric machines are used for the machining of mechanical parts so you might be repairing these machines or you might be doing some maintenance for these machines then aerospace industry is another application area uh, what kind of activities you do so these are some of the things you might be doing for example if it's a big equipment like a lifting equipment a crane or some cnc machine where you want to position that equipment in a very precise position so then you use control systems Similarly, if you are working uh, in a telecommunication industry or in astronomy, you might be pointing your telescopes, antennas to a specific direction, to designing control for that. Similarly, robotics uh, are becoming very popular. You might have heard about supermarket robots and cleaning robots, and a lot of other applications are coming to the market. So this is another big application area. and productivity industrial setup as i mentioned earlier this is uh, one of the major jobs you will be doing and then the precision machining and manufacturing then ability to compensate for the disturbances so what happens is that in industry uh, no process is perfect so all the time equipment deteriorate your uh, insulation deteriorates and then you have some disturbance in your control system your control system is not working properly and you as a control engineer might be asked to step in and to resolve the problem so these are some of the activities which you will be doing as a control engineer so this was a brief introduction about this course so these are the some of the topics which i am going to cover in this course and also Uh, there will be some uh, free preview videos available on the course website so before you enroll in the course make sure that you watch some of those videos so you can get an idea and a taste of this course 
uh, before you enroll in this course. So thanks for watching, thanks for your time and I will see you inside the course.